Tomorrow afternoon at precisely 118, expect an alert from President Donald Trump on your phone. It is the federal government's first coast-to-coast -coast test of its new wireless alert system. Kat from Columbia Heights wanted to know, how does the government have our phone numbers? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Ever gotten one of those Amber Alerts on your phone? I have, because your phone doesn't ring, right? Because it just, like, when you, when it comes up, it's just like a little thing on your phone. So it's going to be like that, okay. just nationwide. Got it. It'll be a text-like message from the president. It won't be a tweet, though. <laughs> it will not be a tweet. Be okay. And we'll clearly say this is a test. It's just a test. Yeah. So. It's so this won't be happening all the time, do no. you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The technology that they're going to have nationwide um, you've been using at the state level for a while. This has been around for a few years. For local amber alerts or weather alerts. You can imagine this, the complexity of this technologically on a national level. Joe Kelly runs the state's Homeland Security and Emergency Management Division. And its purpose is to get your attention and direct you towards sources of official information so you can keep yourself and your family safe. The alert could be used for something like a missile attack. Or a terrorist attack. I'd want to know it's time to get in the bunker and short of that. I don't think I'd want an alert from anyone. And I can't reply stop. You cannot reply can't. stop. <laughs> Not for the presidential alert. That's part of the law. You can block amber or weather alerts on your phone, but not presidential ones. How'd they even get my number, really? That's a great question, and the short answer, short answer is they don't. What they're going to do is broadcast this through every single cell tower in the United States. And if your phone is out there, just it will catch it. The government partners with almost every wireless carrier in the country. There's no computer system dialing all these numbers. No, there's no auto dial robot caller behind this thing. It is just a system wide broadcast. And by the same token, they won't be able to tell if your phone receives it or not. So just be ready. I'm on ready. Wednesday. I'm ready. 118. Yeah. Heather Brown. All right, we're ready. WCCO. Thank you for letting me know. Four News. Kelly says that system cannot track your location. Again, it's tomorrow at 118. You don't have to do anything after you get the message. FEMA just wants to make sure it works.